It's very rarely seen, and Aramaco is now recognised as being one of the best places or where you'll get the greatest chance to see a clouded leopard. I didn't see one. Um, uh, we looked, oh my goodness, you know, we were out for 10, 12 hours at a time overnight. Um, but what I did see was an astonishing diversity of species. Now, anyone here who knows anything about rainforest will know that, yes, you would expect to have a huge diversity of, of sort of small things, of bugs, good diversity of birds. But what was really noticeable was that I was seeing a different species of mammal every day that I hadn't seen before. And that, you know, to have that diversity of mammals and to be able to see them at night, you know, with very limited access into the forest, there's one logging road that you're driving up and down very slowly in a very bumpy land ranger. Um, but to see that amount of, of, as I say, mammal species in such a short period of time, gives you a sense of how astonishing this piece of land is. So if somebody was visited, what should they be aiming? What are the five animals you think they should be aiming, hoping to see? Well, I, you see, I, I, I think it's always dangerous to aim to yeah. see something. However, one thing that I did see there, um, you know, everybody goes to Borneo in the hope of seeing a rangitan. Um, you know, we know that orangutan have been under huge pressure from logging and from palm oil. Um, there is a very good orangutan sanctuary on, in Sabah. Um, so you can go and you're pretty much guaranteed that you will see one. However, for me, that's cheating. I did want to see orangutan in the wild, and I did see them in Durango. Pretty much every day, in fact. I saw gibbons, and anyone who has woken up to gibbons singing it's the most wonderful way to wake up, and they sung for me every morning. We got wonderful views of gibbons. I saw an animal, I didn't see my clouded leopard, but I did see an animal called an otter civet. I'd never heard of it. It's incredibly rare. Um, the main guide in Durabacot, it took him two years before he saw one. But there it was, and I actually had a message this morning saying they'd just seen another one. Um, so, I think, you know, you are, if you're lucky, in wildlife, the thing about wildlife, and the thing about an environment like uh, a forest like that, as I say, 55,000 hectares, to go with a wish list is kind of daft, because, you know, it's wild, that's the beauty of it, you know, it's completely unpredictable. But I would like to slightly nail my flag to the mast and say, if you go there, and if you put the time in, you will 